Hey guys, so Coral, go back to Little Nightmares. Let's carry on where we left off. We're resuming our bizarre adventure through God knows where, trying to avoid the clutches of a man known only as the janitor. I don't know if he's trying to kill us or eat us or maybe even both. All I know is that uh, we've got some inefficiencies in our gameplay. I saw in the previous episode, I take the long way around. Sometimes I had a less than optimal way of creating noise to distract the said janitor. And now I need a boost to get to that door handle. Given that there's some tracks here, I probably need a cart of some kind, so let's not get steamed. Let's head back. I haven't really given much thought as to what the story is going on behind the scenes. I've kind of just been waiting for the game to at least spoon feed me one particular thing, but no luck so far. I should probably just take a moment to stop and think and uh, explore our surroundings a little bit. It is a short game. Let's make the most of it. I spotted an inefficiency already. I was pulling the cart when I could be pushing it. Especially when it comes to this uh, broken pipe here. Um, given that the levels are tilting side to side, I'm wondering if the cart will move by itself if I leave it there. There we go. Come on. Roll. Roll. It's rolling ever so slightly. See? Value add. Didn't go very far, though. <laughs> Let's pull it the rest of the way. Uh-oh. I was going to get squashed. Oh, now you roll, like, a fair distance. Sheesh. Okay, this is going to be quite the jump. Let's make it happen. <sighs> nice. I may have little legs, but I can jump a far distance. Like so. <sighs> yeah. No. <laughs> God damn it. What? Pull yourself up, six. Use that upper body strength. What the heck? I knew I should have eaten those rats earlier. We just don't have the muscles. Uh, you're kidding me. Damn it. Another inefficiency. Bye. Good job, Whack. Once again, you overcomplicate things when you can just take the simple path of running around where there is plenty of space to not fall down. I don't know why I thought it would be great to just jump across a giant gap. Then again, I didn't expect that Six wouldn't be able to pull herself up when we reach the other side. Oh, another light. Let's go ahead and do just that. I haven't seen any of my gnome friends recently. They kind of just ran away as soon as they saw me. I don't think anyone's in there, and that's a rat. I don't feel like hugging that, although uh, the janitor certainly wants to hug me. <clears throat> that's a pipe. Probably missed my chance to go through. Let's do it. We don't have any soft flooring this time around. Thankfully, he can't get to us. At least for now. Now I gotta uh, be careful of those cracks in the walls. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no, no. Wasting no time. Wasting no time. He's fast. He's a fast boy. Oh god. Oh god. Slide through. Uh, climb up. Where am I going? I should be going this way. Then what? Oh no, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just gonna stay up here. He's gonna reach me! <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. Do I just need to avoid his hands while I wait for that thing to break? Is it going to break? Come on! Quicker! Faster! Oh shit. Oh for god's sake, I need to sort this out ASAP! Ugh. He almost got me. <laughs> I'm just jumping back and forth trying to figure out what I need to do. Do I just avoid the hands and... Uh. Uh, there we go. Okay. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. It was so tantalizing waiting for that thing to just snap and shut the door on his arms. <sighs> okay. Uh! Ah! What am I meant to pull this time? Uh! Oh. oh god. Oh no. They've separated from him, and conveniently, this hatch is open. He doesn't sound too happy. I'm sorry! 
It had to be that way. That's what you get. <sighs> Just, you know. Alrighty, let's begin our new chapter. So sorry guys about the crackly microphone effect toward the end of the last one. Unfortunately, I didn't quite pick up on it until I alt tab just now to review the footage. But uh, hopefully everything's all sorted now. Six, you could have moved a couple of inches forward, you know, to avoid those water drops falling on your head. I mean, I know you got a coat and everything with a hood, but still, let's be a little bit more proactive, shall we? If there's anything, the final boss fight, if we can even call it that, maybe a climactic fight is a better term for it. It's that we need to be proactive. We can't wait for things to happen to us. We need to shut the door on his arms and slice them clean off, you know? Okay. I feel like I'm in Half-Life 2 again. The Citadel. What on earth are in these sacks? Oh, there's a meat hook. Okay. I grabbed onto it. I probably should have thought about it first. You know? The whole inefficiencies thing. But I think I've made the right choice. Oh, God. Who the hell is that over there? He looks like a real dickhead. <laughs> Was that maybe a chef? I couldn't quite tell. Ah! And uh, I guess I'm standing on tonight's dinner, which is uh, not exactly appetizing, though. Oh, <laughs> now that I say that, I am getting quite hungry. All right, come on, Six. We can do this. Let's find some food. Hopefully we find a kind, generous soul along the way. Or we'll just murder some rats this time around. I see a trap. And I think I heard one rat bite the dust. Let's see if we can find the poor soul. Anything over here? Food? Anything that's not a vermin? Not a rodent? Doesn't appear to be the case. Oh! Okay, I see what He's stuck. Ugh. Oh, this creepy... I don't know. Uh, humming that goes on when we are at our wits end when it comes to food. Okay. Buddy, I'm sorry. But you're the only food in the vicinity. That's right, I called you food, even though you're still alive. Ugh. There we go. I just had to grab you. I probably should have used my lighter to cook him a little bit at least. Nevertheless, raw rat. And all of a sudden the voice has stopped. Here lies rat. His life essence was used to extend mine. I am starting a little candlelight vigil here. I probably shouldn't put my bare bottom on this trap in case it snaps again. Let's shuffle over here. All right, minute silence complete. Let's move on. Before I get hungry again, I need to devour the rest of them. Where are we now? This place is so leaky. I can't... The environment... It's, it's hard to kind of picture where we are. I mean, it's not going to be something conventional like a ship or a submarine, right? Because... We've got, like, wide open spaces like when we were riding on the meat hook just before. Oh, am I supposed to push this? I think so. Saw six. Grab it. See? Proactivity. I like it. You solved the puzzle before I did. Accidentally, of course. Uh, like I said, let's take our time to explore our surroundings. Make sure we don't miss anything. Like, Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting to drop down here. You know, I haven't even had a proper look at Six's face. Can you look into the camera for me? Okay. That's sufficiently creepy. Maybe some things are better left, you know, concealed. Bring this with me in case I get hungry again. Ooh! Dull! Huh. Still don't know what this is all about. I'm pretty sure this is... I don't know, what we saw at the very beginning of the game? What it means, I have no idea. I don't know why I'm breaking them, I just am, because it's a game, and I need to fulfill certain objectives. Like, who's this girl here in red? You know? And there's like this letter here I can't open. This is a creepy picture. It's like Slender Man's wife, for example. Let's get out of here. 
Might be for the best. Okay, well... I'm glad I decided to suddenly start exploring there. That would have been a tragedy if I'd missed that. Anything else? I don't think so. Nope, that's the fourth wall. Let's proceed. Another cart, I see. Oh, good. It's just going directly towards where I needed to go. There we are. Let me just, you know, help you finish the job there. Oh, God. Whew. Made it. I don't like the sound of that. We're in some kind of pantry. Carrot. In case I get hungry. Six, why don't you just start snacking on it now, you know? Preemptively solve our problems. Remember, proactivity. That's what we're all about now. Our fate is in our own hands. Oh. Jeez. Well, I mean, we... Can we trust this guy? They say never trust a skinny chef, and this guy's anything but. Here he comes. Goodness. I feel like he's seen better days. Oh, he is the dickhead. Yes, there's the hat. I wonder if he's got a rat underneath there, directing his every move. I don't know if there's anything secret about him that we need to avoid. Ah! It's hiding here. can't see me. You can't see me. I'm John Cena. With the carrot. He probably just sees a hovering carrot. Never mind. He completely ignored the fact that I was here. I don't even know if he heard me. It's fine by me. Oh, there's a gnome. Gnomes, come back. I haven't hugged you guys in a while. Just, just stay there. I'm coming. I've got a gift for you. What the hell is that over there? Is that Igor from Persona just staring at me? Okay, now's probably a good time. Let's move. Gnomes, wait for me. Oh, that's not Igor. Oh, shit. I should be sprinting. Uh, can I hide under here? Okay. No, nope, I'm long gone. Sorry. He looked like he was making love to that fish for a second there. <laughs> yep, double check, triple check. He's doing a man look, you just know it. Oh, great. Come on, move along, move along, please. Ugh, I'm gonna regret this. Okay, up these stairs. Got a shelf. Got a door that's locked. Okay, I don't have a choice. Sorry, Carrot! I'm climbing up! Alright, let's light this up. Whoops! Uh oh. Ah! <sighs> okay. You can't reach this high, can you? Surely not. Just gonna try and bring the kitchen down. <laughs> he can only watch in despair. Uh, what do we have on this side? Oh, he's very upset. He's gonna be eating his emotions tonight. As long as I don't fall off this beam. Yeah, I'm gonna knock everything off. Just to tease you. Because I'm beyond your reach. Which is something I can empathize with because I'm pretty short in this game. There's a lot of fish up here. How the heck are you supposed to ever bring them down? You know what? Never mind, don't answer that. There's even small fish here too. Gross. Okay. Looking for a key. God, how high does this go? I don't know where my gnome friends went. Maybe they went through that, uh, what looked to be a freezer door of some kind? What the hell is this? Oh my god, this is worse than two urinals right beside each other. Honestly, a disgrace. I see a candle. Ugh. Light it up. Nice. Light up your life. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay. <clears throat> Don't close the door on me. I'm coming through. I cannot bear the sight of those two toilets beside each other. No! Wait! Please! 
Okay, what about this door here? If I pull the switch... What's the catch? Nothing. I probably should have just waited and seen what happened. As soon as I pulled that switch, if there was like another shift behind that, as soon as I pulled the switch, it would spawn or something, maybe? In any case, the gnome went this way. And I'm in a hugging mood right now. Oh, shit. There's another... Another shift? Even their bids are neighboring each other. My ball! This is where you went. I thought I lost you forever. I guess one of the shifts collected you. Okay, as long as we don't make a noise. Let's give that thing a wide berth. Um. Well, we can climb up here. Let's see where this takes us. It's so dark. Oh, there's the key. Were you sleeping front first? Goodness. You, you should have just gotten a double bed, I think. <laughs> Even their portraits over there are overlapping each other. That's very concerning. Um, okay, let's continue our ascension. Suppose we just go to the right here. And then again. Whoops. Wasn't me. I swear. Okay, we've got another set of shelves. Can I open this up? No, I cannot. Out of my way. Okay. Can't climb up here. Hey -ya. Balance on the door. Nothing up here. Can I go behind the door? Nope. See, it's like, why can I traverse this? There's got to be a reason why. The door was moving. Maybe I can close it. Ow. Oh, Lucky I didn't land on the broken porcelain. Can I close this door? No. It's okay. Found my old friend. Come with me. I don't want you disappearing again. We do need to get that key, though. But see, is it just as easy as just climbing up here and doing this? So then why did I do the whole, like, long route again, climbing up those shelves? I could have just done that to get the key. Surely there's a reason why. Let's keep exploring. Like, seriously, is it just for shits and giggles? Is it just so I can climb up on the bed and jump on it? But I can do that on my own. Oh, we're getting an another achievement. We're rocking it today. Um... Hmm. And where'd my gnome friend go? I see them come this way, and then they vanish. Unfortunately, my pockets aren't big enough for both the ball and the key, so... The key has to take priority. You can roll along if you want. I mean, I'm not stopping you. Let's go. I'm thinking... Whatever this is here, is a shortcut back down. And I'll need to clear the kitchen again. Makes sense. It's an elevator. Or a dumbwaiter. Perhaps even both. No, I see you. Coming. There you are. You can't hide from me. Yeah. Haha. -ha. I will hug the shit out of you. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Oh my god, poor gnome. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I heard you coming along. Sorry, you didn't interrupt my gnome lovemaking session. He needed to know that someone cared for him. Okay, this key is mine. Unfortunately, that means I have to abandon the carrot. No wonder I'm always so hungry. Okay, is it safe? Let's go. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to clear the kitchen, although there might be two of them this time. Okay, let's make a dash for it. Let's go this way. Go, 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 go. Igor's still looking at me. 
Where does friend go, I wonder? You know what? Doesn't matter. Oh, my... <laughs> my lamp fell all the way down. Okay. In we go, in we go. Take shelter. Damn it, if only it didn't stay wide open like that. I feel exposed. He's gonna come follow me. Almost tripped over a sausage. Imagine dying because I slipped on a sausage. It's worse than a banana peel. More sausages. Oh, we even got a uh, sausage making machine. Can I use it? I think so. We've got a valve and a switch. Okay, nothing. Perhaps we need to turn it on or something. Ah, uh, or put meat in. Here. Pump. Yes, there's the good stuff. Oh, just the one? I can see another. It's clipping through. You're holding out on me, machine. Come on. I'm guessing I need to produce another sausage to swing across. Damn. Might have to procure my own, it seems. Okay. Um, maybe we got a little dumbwaiter here. Yep. Thought it might be. Okay, let's get ourselves some meat. Ooh. Chilly up in here. Can uh, climb up there. Got another door. We got another hatch. So much going on. Let's try climbing up here first. Meat hooks. Swing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, meat. Okay, good. Uh, over here. Thank you. Now, where else can we go? Do these lead to the same place? Presumably, considering I can't open that door. There are a lot of vents here. Gordon Freeman would be very happy to explore this locale. Ooh, another rat. Oh, a gnome. He's dead. But maybe I can bring him back to life. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I almost died myself. Uh. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not going to try and climb this because I might get sliced into many different parts. Not that I can climb it anyway. Can I make this jump? I can't see anything, you see? That's my issue. Huh. No. Maybe there's an easier way to do so. Oh, lamp. Oh, doll. Yeah. No achievement just yet. I'm starting to think it's not possible to get up there, considering my friend looks deceased. I don't think I could break these, and I don't even know what good that would do anyway, if I were to sabotage them. So I guess that rat will live to steal his life essence, much like I stole the rats. Hmm, okay. Well, let's just keep moving. Is that another piece of meat? What about over here? Can I pull this? No. <laughs> thought that was another plank or barricade against the wall that I could pull to sneak through. Two pieces of meat. There we are. Come on. Over here. Three sausages. Let's head back down. Hopefully that's enough for us to swing through. And hopefully what I just saw is uh, unobtainable. Unreachable. Come on, don't hesitate. Six. You've seen worse. Let's bring the meat down. Both of them. Two. Three. Okay, come on. That's gotta be it. Yes. Okay, feel free to have a nibble. Six, I know you're hungry. Never mind. There's so much on the ground, you know. And you decide, you know what? I'm not going to pocket any for later on. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to brave these harsh conditions. Unfortunately. Uh, you get hungry really quickly. No wonder you're just skin and bones right now, Six. Okay. I guess this is the deep freezer now? I 
again. Let's make sure we look around and take in everything. Like, what are these things? We've seen them cooking with fish, even though they're not the most hygienic chefs. I wouldn't want anything served by them, that's for sure. Got a hiding spot here? Okay, just in case. Let's keep that in mind in case we need to fall back, but might not happen. Another elevator. To find a key. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd have to hide. So, what were you doing? Just standing in the elevator waiting for someone else to pull the switch? Goodness. Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's wait, let's wait. Uh-oh. It's okay. We're okay. Ugh. Wow. Okay. He's saving that for a midnight snack. Hopefully he doesn't roll over and crush it while he's in bed. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Aha! Damn, that looks ominous. <laughs> it's like barely lit in the elevator. Uh-oh. He's coming. He's following me. Go, go, go! Unfortunately, I don't have anything to throw and hit that button. Does that mean I need to go back down? Son of a bitch. Tricky ass game. Or maybe I just follow him through. Can we do it? Can we do it? Are we sneaky beaky? Okay, let's not sprint. Okay. These guys definitely operate on sound. I can walk past them. I just can't sprint past them. Go around, go around. Here we are. What the hell is that? Ugh. Gross. <laughs> is that it? He's just like, oh, break time. I tore it in half. Let me go fetch a snack. Another sausage. Jeez. <laughs> he looks so grotesque. Imagine being served by this guy. Up we go. What's over here? Ah, uh, distraction. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't appear to be the case. That's fine. Alright, let's grind this meat, whatever it is. Gross. I was not here. No, <laughs> I was gonna slide underneath. I'm sorry, don't crush me. All right, back to the grind. Get it? Yeah, I know you see me. I know you see me. Now you don't. Ha! <laughs> I love this guy. He's like tracing underneath the floor trying to find me. Sorry, pal. It's not that complicated. I'm literally in the last place you saw me. Okay, now it's probably a good time. Up we go. Come on, let's fulfill our quest. To grind this meat so we can grab that key. Here. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, that trade off though. Sick. Okay, climb, climb, climb. Key? Yep, let's go. Come on, Six. No time to dilly dally. Make sure you don't slip on the blood and guts as well. No, don't put the key down. <laughs> we need it. Where'd it go? Where'd my key go? Ah! There it is. Okay, as long as I occupy this elevator, he can't follow me. There is where I need to go. Let's do this! <laughs> oh, God! Come on, Six! What are we doing? Open the door! Alright. Where are we going? Can't reach that. Come on! Okay, that's working. No, I'm not, I'm not here! Oh. Oh, God. That was too close for comfort. I thought he got us. 
Got a plunger. And then Six suddenly wants to do the robot. <laughs> okay. Enough playing around. I'm just happy we survived. Phew. Okay, well, now what? We're down in the dumps. What's this? A, uh, toy block. Maybe I can climb up this thing? Nope. Hmm. This plunger, though, it speaks to me. Oh, another doll! Yeah! Still no achievement. I swear there's an achievement tied to those dolls. Let's make sure we get it. Of course, I just need to climb the wall to get to this vent up here. Should've known. Okay, that takes us to the other side of that door. Someone doing dishes? Oh my god. There are so many piled up. How many people eat here? Or is that just, like, a decade's worth of dishes that haven't been done? I could have gone up up there. I don't know if that would have been the wise decision. I can always keep going. They're both here now. Okay, that's the end of the road. <laughs> yeah, one plate at a time. Brilliant. Okay. Get up here. Okay, sorry, never mind, forget I did anything. Sheesh. Man, these guys are looking for any excuse to not do dishes, and I don't blame them. To be honest, I hate doing dishes. Cooking, fantastic, fun. Unfortunately, I use a lot of internet recipes, which means I leave a lot of dishes because I use, like, everything it tells me to. <laughs> okay, we can climb up here. I see some meat hooks flying by. We can time this, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but we made it anyway. Ooh, another lantern. Okay. We can do this. Yep. Thank you. Okay, we should be able to drop down and open the door as well. But, uh... I don't know if that's gonna happen with this platform overhead. That's okay. Uh, no point riding those meat hooks, because we're just gonna end up at a dead end. Oh, God. Cover your mouth, man. Use your elbow, at least. Okay, we might need to climb back down. I see a hiding spot over there. Let's go. Oh, slip and slide. Slip and slide. Uh. Okay, that's not gonna do us any good. Let's just go this way. Oh. Okay, down. Down we go. Down we go. He was there. He was waiting. It is a great. Above me, can't exit there. Uh, come on. Whew. Doesn't matter if they spot us, as long as we can get into cover in time. Um, okay. I see a broken plate on the floor. Seriously. And I thought I was inefficient. These guys are transferring one plate at a time, even though they can stack them that high. Come on, guys. Where's your balls at? Oh. Shit, that makes noise. Should be able to drag this. Nope. It's for climbing. That's gonna make some noise. Eek. I see a switch. Let's pull it and see what happens. Uh-oh. I've reversed the polarity. <laughs> I was never here. <laughs> I was never here. Man, I really am playing with fire. Considering we're in a kitchen, it's very appropriate. Can't believe he's looking under there. It's fine. Okay. Let's find a way to climb up. Or, oh, don't tell me I have to go all the way back. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Okay. I see you, game. I see you. All right, climbing back up. Made it without getting spotted, so that's good news. Oh, she... Oh, God. Probably would have died there from full damage. So, grateful. That we got arms of steel sometimes when I need them. Here we go. Taxi! It's an uber hook. Hopefully we don't knock into a stack of plates. Oh jeez, they see me! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, he's gonna... I don't know, he's gonna get the broom or something. Hang on! Seriously, where'd the other sheriff go? Oh, there he is. He's waiting. Let go! <laughs> ah! Jeez! Okay! Okay, okay, okay! Oh! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> oh no, please! Really, Six? Why did you fall off? Here we go again. Let's try this again. Damn it. Like I said, remember when I said that I hated them to fail these like tense moments like this because it breaks the flow? That's exactly what happened. Huh. There we go. That's what should have happened. Our great getaway. <laughs> Bubbles and all. Yeah, that's right. You'll never catch me now. Whoa. Okay. Let's try not to cock this up at the very end. The kitchen. Complete.